Okay, but we're going to start today here in the daytime kitchen. We have culinary storyteller and owner of the New Orleans Creole Story Pot, Shawanda Marie. Hi, Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Happy to be back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We love having you on our show because you teach us, you know, about the culture and the traditions of New Orleans. And you actually have money pinned to you right now, yeah. which is a New Orleans tradition. It is. Tell us about this. And we also have like images too of other people doing this. It's a New Orleans birthday tradition. Oh. Okay. So, I mean, you may be walking through New Orleans and you'll see somebody walking by with money pinned on them. Strangers will come up to people and pin a, a dollar, two dollars, whatever, on a person because they know it's their birthday. Oh, oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love that. And you that. have a birthday tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. When was this weekend? Yeah. Very wonderful, cool. wonderful. Man, I you, wish too I bad you found, I know, you needed to find <laughs> out about this on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's a, yeah. It, you know, it's a strange tradition to other people. They see it and it's like, what are, you know, what are you doing with money on you? But everybody in New Orleans who's from New Orleans yeah. knows what it, what it is. So I do you, it. how do you start it? Do you just put a pin on and go, everybody, hello? <laughs> or does somebody else start it for you and put someone, it on? Someone, yes. Yeah, someone okay. starts it for you. Uh -huh. And you know, when you wake up in the morning, somebody might put it on for you. That's oh, sweet. Yeah, my happy gosh, birthday. So and then good. before you know it, you have money all the way down to your knees. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, the baby my, picture. I know, the, baby did, the baby's <laughs> doing pretty good. <laughs> and that's okay. great. So let's talk about your upcoming book series. Okay. I I don't know how to pr pronounce this. Bonsoir Gros de Bois? Yes, Bonsoir, bonsoir Gros de Bois. Okay, Very I good. Was totally off. You did okay. great. You All did right. great. What is that? So, Bonsoir Gros de Bois is Goodnight Big Tree. There was a huge tree in my grandmother's yard, and that tree meant a lot to the family. And I want to tell the story of that home, that neighborhood, that community. Um, this story is about myself, actually, at about mm, nine or eight years old, eight yeah. or nine. And my grandmother, who I learned from, this is my grandmother, uh -huh. and she taught me everything I know uh, in the kitchen. So I'm writing a book series about growing up in New Orleans in the Ninth Ward and um, just other traditional um, things that have been passed down to oh, children okay. and people in New Orleans. So it's a children's series. I'm actually working with Nikki Giovanni. She's mentoring me. Oh, right now, yeah. so I'm really honored um, for that opportunity. Wow, that's, that's really, really cool. Yes. And you also do culture and community educational tours, so tell us about those. Yes, those actually I'm, I'm planning to do for 2019. So I have so many people that have been to New Orleans before, but they only see the French Quarter, which is great, lots of history there, yeah. but there's so much more to New Orleans than Bourbon Street, than mm -hmm. the French Quarter. Right. Yeah. So I would love to do cultural and educational tours uh, for people from Virginia or other places who want to come down with a native New Orleanian and yeah. you know show them all around the city and talk about the rich culture of uh, the parishes around New Orleans and other communities in New Orleans. So. Yeah, and this all ties into the food, of yes. course. So what are you going to make for us today? Today we're going to have griots and grits. Okay. Griots and grits. Griots. What's the story behind this? So griots are griots is a French word that means little like a fried piece of meat. Okay. And uh, during the time of um, when things were a little bit more scarce people would take the scraps of beef and they would stretch them by cutting them up into little pieces of meat, mm -hmm. pounding them down, um, and then frying them, cutting them up in like medallions oh. and frying them up, putting a little roux on them, some, uh, some, some vegetables or some of the seasonings, uh -huh. and uh, they eat it over grits. So the equivalent to that would be uh, the Gullah Geechee people in South Carolina. They eat shrimp and grits. Yes. Right. right. In New Orleans, we eat griots and grits. Griots and grits. Griots okay. and grits. All right. That sounds yeah. great. Yeah. And so you also have some upcoming fundraisers, so we'll find out a little bit about those. But we're going to jump into this recipe in a little bit. All right. Shawanda, yes. thank you. Thank right. you. We can, of course, we can go and find more information on your website, and we will start cooking coming up. All right, we are back in the daytime kitchen with Shawanda Marie. And Shawanda, I just noticed this picture right here. Yes. And you were telling me a little bit about it. So tell our viewers a little bit about this. Yeah, this is a picture of me um, in Louisiana um, at a plantation called Evergreen. And I do some genealogy. That's me, and um, that's actually the place where my fifth great grandmother and fifth great grandfather was. Um, if you see, look through the trees, you'll see the slave cabins back there. Right, um, down through here. My fifth great grandfather was the, the plantation owner, and he had four children with the, uh, one of uh, the, the enslaved women there. Uh -huh. And uh, he freed them in 1795. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, him, he freed the children and her. Wow, that's special. <laughs> yeah, that amazing. is an incredible story. Yeah, so okay, I, so let's talk about what we're making today. Okay. Griots and grits. Griots and grits. Okay. okay. What do we need here? 
All right, so first when you uh, make the griots, you want to flour the meat. So you have this flour here, mm -hmm. and it's already seasoned, so I have some of the Creole seasoning in it already. Okay. And you will take the meat, add the beef, and you would actually put it in, put it in like that. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you want to dust, dust it. Okay. okay. Yeah, you want to dust that. Once you get that dusted, you fry it. Okay. 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 So you just put a little bit oil in a pan mm -hmm. and just fry it on both sides until it's lightly crisp. Okay. Take it out, put it to the side. Okay. Then you would make your roux. We talked about the roux last time where you make the flour, flour and the oil, and mix that up whatever. together. Yeah, okay. butter, right? Mm -hmm. You make your roux, you add your seasonings here. Okay. Yeah, the seasonings to the roux. Okay, so we have, uh, what, some chopped some up celery here? Celery, onions, and bell pepper. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Which some people refer to as the trinity. We call them the seasonings. <laughs> 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 okay. And uh, once you get that going and it's nice and soft, you add tomatoes. So you have chopped tomatoes or diced. Mm -hmm. okay. Very fine. You put the tomatoes in. Um, and you mix that all together. After you get it going, then you finally add the meat with a uh, beef stock. Okay. I'm going to put a beef stock in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let everything swell up, marry each other, just to yeah. get acquainted, you know, let the flavors merge together. And it, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a uh -huh. beautiful thing. Um, and you taste as you go. You taste as you go. Okay. That's the way we do. We hardly ever measure. It's the yeah. hardest thing for me to write these recipes right. down yeah, yeah. because we don't really measure. We just put yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Just and then hope. Put okay. hope. Yeah. Let's talk about the grits. Like, how do yeah. you make sure you have good grits? Uh, yeah. You just get grits that you're comfortable with. Okay. Some people like to get the uh, the raw hominy, yeah. and they make it with that. Um, or you can get regular grits that you, you, know, you buy from the store. Um, but you're going to add cheese to it. So I have here, you have your cheddar cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you want the grits to be nice and rich. Can we plate and it creamy. up? Creamy. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. You okay. want this to be nice and rich uh -oh. and creamy. Okay. okay. So, the thing about this dish that's so beautiful is it started with humble beginnings. Started from humble beginnings, people right. making do. They just had scraps. With, with the scraps. And it turns out to be something so, so good that served at fine restaurants all around New Orleans. Oh, interesting. <laughs> wow. How about that? So um, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese okay. to yes, this please. just to get it nice and yummy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. More cheese, the better, right? Yes, I totally agree. <laughs> and Brittany's eating some cheese over here. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, you add your cheese, you let that melt a bit. Mm -hmm. And then after it melts down, you want to go ahead on and plate that. Plate that right there. I made it, like I said, with cream, so it's nice and rich. This is a very rich it dish. It looks great. And oh. it's normally eaten for brunch or for breakfast. It's a very old, oh, traditional. Oh, okay. I would yeah. not have guessed that. Me yes, neither. this is a brunch or breakfast dish. Very old, traditional Creole dish Okay. in New Orleans. So. And that's what your, your griots look like right there, after you've done all the steps that you talked yes, about. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use this so I can get some of that good meat. Okay. And then mm -hmm. you put the griots on top. Oh my gosh, it looks Look so at delicious. that. Yeah, you add your griots on top. Put a little gravy. Okay. I'm all about pretty. Remember, I said my grandmother said it has to be pretty. Uh huh. So. <laughs> yeah, and I see that you have this grandma. fresh parsley That's here. Right. So I'm sure that that goes on top, right? Yes, the parsley goes on top. Uh huh. Okay. I'll go here. That does look pretty. Oh my yes. gosh. <laughs> looks delicious. Thank you. I can't wait go. to just dive in and try it. <laughs> okay. Oh mm. my goodness. Mm. Oh, you get the stretching. cheese. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. Oh mm. my gosh. That oh, is delicious. Wow. <laughs> Thank that you. That is so flavorful. It's like Thank a heartwarming you. dish right there. Yeah, it is. Comfort oh. food. Mm -hmm. That is comfort <laughs> okay. food. Yes. Griots and grits will be on our website, daytimebluridge.com. Just log on there and check out the recipe. And if you want more information on the Creole Story Pot, you can. Head online and you find out all the upcoming fun stuff.